Let's talk about homestead exemptions. Homestead exemption is basically a property tax break for qualifying homeowners and it is one of the many perks of buying and owning a home in the state of Texas. This homestead exemption allows you to write down the value of your property so that way you don't get taxed as much. As you may know, Texas is one of the seven states that do not impose a statewide income tax. Therefore, they tend to rely more heavily on homeowners to compensate for that lack of revenue. And that is where the homestead exemption can save you hundreds of dollars a year. And in addition to that exemption, the state of Texas offers exemptions for military veterans, for disabled persons, and homeowners over 65, among others. So let's talk numbers and let's be a little bit more specific. If you're a homeowner in Bear County, you receive a $40,000 general homestead exemption from your school district. The city of San Antonio provides a 20% exemption on your net appraised value. If you're over 65 or disabled, you get an additional 10 to $25,000 off on your school district appraised value. I want you to take a look at this real life example so you get an idea of how much you can save every year by simply submitting your homestead exemption application. You just have to do this once as long as this is your primary residence. Just do it once, forget about it, and enjoy the benefits of a little tax break on your property taxes. As you can see on this property, the property taxes are $7,000 with 27 cents. That's without any exemptions. After this client applied for the homestead exemption, it lowered it to $5,400 a year so as you can see he's saving over a thousand dollars just for simply filling out two pages that is going to take him about 15 minutes so he is basically saving about 130 dollars a month on his monthly mortgage payments it is really simple to apply just go to your appraisal district website you can apply online if you don't want to print it out if you want to print it out you can fill it out and mail it to the address on the application really simple Make sure that you are the primary owner and that this is your primary residence. Also, it is really important that once you buy your house, you update your driver's license address so that way it reflects your new address and it matches with your application because you may have to submit a copy of your driver's license as well. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you buy, sell, or answer any questions about real estate. My name is Victor Solar. I'm your Texas Realtor. See you next time.